What is going on guys? It's been a while. Um, I wanted to first apologize for not filming videos. Well, I shouldn't say not filming, not posting videos for a while. Um, I've been filming a lot. I've just been very busy with uh, the summer class that I'm taking here at Duluth. Um, kind of a real pain in the butt when you're only taking a class for a month. So I've been taking exams every week and doing a lot of homework. So uh, yeah, while I'm editing a video now, which is what you're about to see, um, me and my friend Justin went out on Round Lake in Hayward. Um, for the beginning part of the day, we didn't have any luck and all my camera equipment actually died. So I wasn't filming when we caught these fish, but I did muster up enough energy at the end of the day to get, I managed to get one of the fish on footage and I managed to uh, film um, us letting them go. So um, that's what the first clip's gonna be. And then the next clip after that is going to be the, uh, the day after fishing trip, um, which is where we just absolutely drilled them, which was a great time. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy the footage as much as we enjoyed catching them because man, this was probably, it'll probably be one of the best bass fishing days I've had, or uh, I'll have this, this season. So enjoy the footage. Okay, wait, let's just hold up a freaking second. So my buddy, Justin, catches this huge smallmouth, and then he's taking off the hook and he gets a barb stuck in his finger and just pulls it right out. <laughs> wow, that's all I gotta say. I'll let you guys get back to the video, but that was just stupid. I don't, I was trying to hand him a pliers and he gets a freaking barb stuck, well, whatever. That was in there deep, but it was in a good spot. But I don't even care because this fish is freaking huge. Here, Jake, get it, get in the sunlight more. I can't see the fish very well. Dude, that's a pig. Look at that beautiful fish. Wow. Here, Laura, a little bit. I can't see your face. Wow. I'm sorry. Oh wow. My. All right. First time, Jake. <laughs> Fish of the day. It's like a four pound, four pound smallmouth. Nice one on the pink X route. Yeah, what's new? That's right. Put her back in the water. All right. Well, that's our uh, that's our first fish of the day. Um, we're out here on Round Lake. We've been fishing for probably about an hour or so, and decided to come to a shallower shoreline spot. See if we can catch some. See if we can catch some more. Both are using jerk baits. Justin's using a shadow wrap in a clown color, and I'm using a pink X wrap. The pink X wrap is the only one with the fish so far. So, well, all the fish I caught yesterday just dwarfed that thing. Oh, 
Yeah. Waiting for a flash of color. Waiting for something to rip the rod out of... Oh, there's one. Eat it. Yeah! <laughs> oh, no! First loss of the day. Dang. That was a good fish, too. Shoot. Just lost a four pounder. It's all right, there's more. There's one. That's a know. nice fish, yeah. It's a big one. spell there for a while. They're still here. They're still here. I'm gonna get a picture of this one. Good one? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's a good picture. <laughs> good shit. <laughs> Two and a half, probably. Shoot, I don't know if I got your hook set on film, but oh wow, you almost got your pinky again. Nope, this time my arm. There she is. Take her. It's not my fish. Well, what I just learned is you can cast that spot eight times and you can catch one. Yeah, there you go. Peace, dude. Hey. Well, guys, I turned on turn off the camera for about two seconds and then Justin hooks up. I'm trying to put a new SD card in, but I guess we're just going to have to go with the GoPro footage. That's a big one. God, that was a big fish. Watch yeah. I'm just glad nobody even. Oh my god, two casts, two fish? Oh my god. Well, feisty. Like it. Little dude. That's not the size we're looking for. Messing around the camera, Justin just hooked up. You want to not? Not on this one? Another three, three and a half pounder. God, that's fun. That's probably four, dude. That, look at that belly on that. <laughs> and she's still she's got a lot of fight left. <laughs> yeah. She ain't happy. She's ready to go back in the water. Get a little release shot here. Yeah. God, you cannot stress that pause enough. No. Yeah, we've been catching all our fish today on those really long pauses. It's pretty crazy. There she goes. Bye bye. Thanks for playing. Kids at home, uh, if you don't have a drift sock, just put down a lighter anchor than your boat, then that can hold your boat. You gotta follow. Slow it down. Oh, he's still there. Yeah! <laughs> that was so cool. That's a good fish, too. I don't think he's hooked that well. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Another four pounder. Here, don't. <laughs> Good thing you said that, dude. I wasn't even looking at my lure. I, I just saw it swing, and I saw like gold, and I was like, that's definitely not the color that the uh, lure's giving off. Oh my god, he hooked his mouth shut. Did he? Yeah. Another nice fish, guys. Oh, look at that. Nice one. That's three and a half, could be close to four. Yeah. Pliers are stuck in my hand. That's alright, you wanna let her go? Yeah, let's get her back. Yeah. Sweet.
All right, guys, that's our third fish. We've probably been at this spot for about, mm, I would I would say like 30 minutes, not even 15. This has been like a 15 to 20 minute pass. Yeah, so we've, we haven't really been fishing here very much. Uh, this is a spot we caught all our fish on yesterday, and we've been throwing jerk baits. It's been paying off. Um, yeah, working them slow. You can see the fish follow. It's crazy. This water's crystal clear, so these fish aren't bedding up yet. It's about 50 degree water temps, and they're just cruising around looking for looking for bright colored X wraps, I guess. God, dude, you're right. I stopped that thing and it swung. I get one more twitch, stopped it even longer. <laughs> Actually, no one's in it. Yeah, long. literally, because it's just a dead. It's a dead minnow. It just like just starts sinking. Worked so good. Yeah. That's sweet. God, that was fun. say four and a half we're gonna get a measurement on it that's 21 that's five pounds that's a five pound smallie there it's a 21 inch fish pink x-wrap baby we got a weigh on our uh fish yesterday oh my god you hear that freaking clunk yeah we got a weigh on our fish yesterday and justin had a 20 20 and a half incher and it was just under five just shy it's like four nine so 21 inch fish that's got to be five at least good fish Good fish. Hey guys, Maverick. Um, I'm out here with my friend Justin, and we're on a uh, local Hayward Lake, clear body water. We're fishing, we are fishing smallmouth bass. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what we were using all day to catch these fish. Um, so today I was using a uh, pink X wrap. This is the money maker. It's caught us a lot of fish today, probably uh, four or five. Um, and Justin was using a clown colored one, shadow wrap, but. The key to working these baits right now, we're working about, we're working with about uh, anywhere from 10 to 7 feet of water, and we were finding that using that slower jerk jerk pause me method was working really well. Um, that's how we caught most of our fish. We can actually see the fish um, following the baits in, which is really cool. Um, a few of them hit pretty close to the boat, but the bigger ones tended to stay further out and hit randomly, like you'll see in the video. Um, so yeah, next time you go out, just when the water the water temps about 50 51 degrees when it's a little colder water temps just switch to a jerk bait it's a good search bait and uh put some fish in your live well all right guys well justin and i are getting off the lake now is a heck of a day we caught probably what was it, 11 fish mm -hmm. we caught 11 fish all on those jerk baits um our biggest one today was probably around five pounds again and yeah so we're we're gonna wrap up this episode and we're gonna head back to the cabin I'm gonna head back to Duluth and Justin's going back home so thanks for tuning in see you guys later